Well hello, good morning and welcome. Again, first attempt at vlogging. I want to say again, I've had a couple of practice runs, so I'm working on the principle that this one is the one I'm going to be uploading. So good morning, I'm Brighton Beaker. The Brighton's fairly obvious, and actually when you get to see what I do and what I look like, the Beaker becomes fairly obvious too as well. So this is my first vlog and this is just basically an introduction I'll be doing our vlogs hopefully in more detail at a later time. The main things I will be talking about is bikes but I, I won't be doing reviews, product designs, placements or anything like that. Um, I'll just be talking about my bike really, where I've been and where I want to go. I'm into sport which I enjoy probably see there's a few England flags floating around, you'll probably see a few more as we go along. But um, as you know a lot of them have come down. This is the day after, that day after. Um, England played Croatia last night, so it, it, it's not coming home. We'll also be talking about health, because I'm a health worker. Again, I will be talking about football a little bit more in detail, but I'm a Spurs fan. I'm politically active, so politics will be on there. I sit on the left of the political spectrum. And again, I appreciate there are many thoughts on politics and views will be welcome, as long as you keep it polite. And I will be talking about journeys as well, places I want to go and places I've been. Um, oddly enough, I'm planning on to Croatia next year. I can't go this year. I'll explain that in a little while. I will basically go past the scene of the crime. You could probably tell by the Star Trek Enterprise layout in front of you, I'm on a GSA. This is my third BMW, my fourth BMW actually. Um, but it's my third GS. It's the first time I've actually upgraded to the A with the big tank. This one also has um, a quick shifter, but I think they all do now. And it's got um, one of these hill start lock things, which are fantastic. They are so good. Once you get you know, the hang of it, uh, they are just an absolute joy. Um, as I say, I've got the big tank, it's keyless, so I mean, I do like doing long journeys, so the, the big tank's an absolute blessing again. One thing I haven't got, which you probably noticed, and most people who know me will say, why didn't you get one in, is the SOS emergency button, which normally sits about there. Um, it wasn't the option when I bought this bike. I mean, I could always get it added on a later date, but as I've had my major twattery and actually nearly killing myself, I'm working on a principle. It shouldn't be happening again anytime soon. Not that I'm hypersensitive, not that I'm riding any different, but I probably, maybe I'm a little bit more cautious. What it was, it was, um, well it's July now, but December last year, I, I had a significant off. And again, I'll, I'll show you the scene of the crime a little way, and I will do a proper vlog on the accident, what led up to it, and more importantly, what happened afterwards, and, and some lessons learned at a later time. Let's say this is purely an introduction. I'm going to get through the boring bit in a couple of minutes and we've got a nice bit of road. This is, um, I won't say it's my commute, but it's a route I have to do on a regular basis. Um, and again, it's, it's quite joyful. If you catch it early enough, it, it is a bit of fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through this bit of road. Time, mate. Nasty. Uh, I'm going to take you through this bit of road. And I guess there may not be a lot of talking, because it's nice, so you should be able to enjoy the views. 
that, my little friends, it's the South Downs. Why did I call you my little friends? I do not know. Things I don't try and do. Really crap Spanish accent. As you know, we enjoy the Tour de France, which is currently on at the moment. There was a time when it came to England, I know it's been around Yorkshire, but it did also come along the south coast. And we're actually going in the opposite direction which the cyclists took, purely on the basis that they, um, they were doing the ditching in Beacon, which we will come to in a little while. However, we're fast approaching, well, it wasn't on the day fortunately, but we are fast approaching the scene of the crime. Foggy up. It was a particularly foggy day. A bit of accent, but I pinned it just there. I think. Or was it the next one on? I think no, it was there. Um, seven o'clock in the morning, very, very foggy. Animal ran out in front of me. I went down, bike down the way, but I said I'll do a proper vlog on that another time. What I like to do is hopefully just try and enjoy this view a little bit. As I say, it does help. It's a cracking bit of road. As I say, we've got exactly sort of like switch brakes or anything like that, but it's a nice, nice, nice few bends the top to lead us down into a place called Ditch Lynn. And so if we get this road early enough, when people are in their light truck, mammals and others, and you haven't got the Sunday drives on the road, this is an absolute pleasure. And I, it, it changes throughout the year as well, so the different seasons, I mean, like you get different contrasts and colours and vistas. Oh, uh, so it, can, it, it really does look quite nice, I mean, like, as I say, as we get on the brow of the hill, you sometimes get some wonderful marsh fog looking down, so it just looks like you're, well, you're a couple of thousand feet up rather than 800. I'll show it for a second because this is just a take it a little bit slower than normal so I hope you can get a good view appreciate the camera doesn't always give the depth of field that it should do crack on again I'm not cutting this bike at the moment because it is new we haven't even done 500 miles yet I took that one a bit too cautiously no we haven't even done 500 miles yet so Oh look, there we go, mammal number one. Mammal number two! Why would you do that? I mean, I enjoy fair walking and hill walking. Well, I, I like to say I do, I did. Hopefully I will be again. Again, that's another one for the later vlog on how I mangled my leg. As I said, this bike is now, as I say, I'm still running around for 500 miles, so I feel a trip to Chandler's, which is a BMW dealer's Port Slade, just outside of Brighton. It was due late the day to get her in for her first service. I say her because she does have a name. Um, all my bikes have a name, and they're actually decided by Facebook. I trust others to do it. Um, it's based on the suffix of the registration, so the last letter on this one is F. So the shortlist was Florence or Flo. I'll cry out loud. Frankie or Fraulein von Legover. I like Frankie, rather unfortunately. Not enough people did. I worked for Health Workers, they went with Florence for the obvious reasons. Which is fair enough. So, more informally, she's known as Flo. I 
Maybe I should do the Andy Man cam bit. There it go. It's like magic. The car disappeared. Well, I'm going to call it a close now because we're just going to go through basically narrow little village, <coughs> narrow little villages with lots of potholes. But as I say, this is the first attempt, so thank you for watching. The camera will be running because. I'm going to finger me out to turn the bloody thing off, so I may come back for more. But thank you for watching. There will be others. I know you have to do about 50 before actually something recognises you, so again, for those who are watching us on a retrospective basis, hello. And again, yes, England didn't win the World Cup, and I don't know who has yet, so congratulations to either Croatia or France. I'm sort of hoping Croatia. But in the meantime, Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I'm lying. Dame Vera Lynn lives here. Interesting fact. Or not. Very blue. Oh, fuck up. Thank you.